an entire district in New Jersey forced to close all of its schools, but not because of the snow. Two fast-moving illnesses with flu-like symptoms affecting dozens of students. Over the weekend, the buildings underwent a thorough cleaning. Eyewitness News reporter Michelle Charlesworth talked with concerned and frustrated parents in Clinton. My son said that almost two-thirds of his class was missing. Kids are so sick in such large numbers. The schools closed Friday and Monday to give everyone a fighting chance to get well and to deep clean all four public schools in Clinton. Pediatricians' offices are full to capacity, and even doctors are sick. Closing the schools is a great way to try and stop the spread. Dr. Ferranti so, worked all weekend and says yeah, she's seeing one and a half times so the normal number of patients. And how long does it take to get over this? So I would say five to seven days, but wow. we're definitely seeing um, less severity and less duration if they were vaccinated. All of this is really tough on working parents, and the superintendent said as much in her letter. What parent can take a week off, up to 14 days, to make sure his or her kid is well? Their father called out for Friday, and I called out Monday. And oh, man. Yeah, you know, team effort. This is a hard one because the parents who work has to miss work. Then the other way is like they send them sick and then everybody's sick. They were dropping like flies. I was at the school on Tuesday for a parent teacher conference and there were 10 kids being sent home within that 45 minutes that I was at school. The superintendent sent home a letter on Thursday explaining that Friday and Monday the schools needed to close because things had become so serious. Quote, we cannot overemphasize the importance of keeping a sick child home. Anyone with a fever must be fever free without using fever reducing medications for a full 24 hours, end quote. When you um, hear that there are deaths from flu for kids, everyone's just nervous that their kids stay safe. So we're keeping a close eye on all our patients. Kids are still sick, but hopefully somehow still staying home to get better tomorrow when Clinton schools are back open.